In this video, we're going to explore why AI agents are positioned to outshine your current SaaS apps, the specific benefits that they bring, and how you can start building them. We've seen this impact firsthand. So over the past year, we've helped dozens of clients streamline their entire workflows with AI and cutting their manual work literally in half and reducing the need for expensive off-the-shelf software. By the end of this video, you'll learn why AI agents represent a massive leap beyond standard SaaS, the exact steps that we take to discover bottlenecks and design tailor-made AI solutions, and the future of business automation, and how you can actually be an early adopter. So let's jump in and see why AI agents could be your gateway to next level business efficiency. So we have the paradigm shift and every decade, a new tech wave comes along that really just forces us to rethink our entire strategy. So we saw it with personal computers and the internet and later with the rise of SaaS. And if you're not familiar, this is also known as software as a service. So each time entire industries were literally transformed. Today, AI agents, they're emerging, if you couldn't tell, as the next transformative wave. So you could think of this like radio transitioning into TV. So early televisions, they were used as if they were just visual radios, people simply reading scripts on cameras. So we didn't really realize we could broadcast sporting events and create epic dramas or just do live newscasts. But with AI, we're at that same early stage, if you will. Many just really see it as a plugin or a chatbot. But I mean, AI agents, there's so much more. And we've experienced this massive potential that these agents have. I mean, we've rolled out solutions for our clients that replaced manual tasks and integrated with multiple legacy systems and saved entire teams from repetitive data entry. But now I just want to unpack why they're so different from SaaS and how they might eclipse the need for many of the apps that you're currently paying for. So let's just break down really quick the biggest differences between AI agents and traditional SaaS software and why they truly matter for your business operations. Now, even Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella has highlighted how AI is fundamentally changing the software paradigm and pushing us to move from the rigid prepackaged products to adaptive continuously learning systems. So with number one, we have learned behavior versus specific actions. So traditional SaaS, it's built on predefined workflows. So you click a button and the app does whatever. AI agents, by contrast, they learn and adapt. They're powered by advanced language models that are probabilistic rather than just deterministic. So this allows them to handle exceptions and changing context and new data in ways that SaaS apps locked into rigid code cannot. The key impact here is that instead of waiting for new features or dealing with clunky workarounds, you train the agent to improve its performance, similar to how you would coach a new employee on your team. So this capacity to learn means that your automation solutions can evolve alongside your business. Number two, we have faster, more flexible development. Now, building a SaaS product, it can take months or even years, requiring multiple teams of developers, designers, uh, product managers. AI agents, they usually just run in the background and communicating through APIs or Slack emails. I mean, there's no real heavy UI to design. And this lean approach just means that we can launch a prototype in days and weeks. I mean, I've built an MVP in the Literally one day. So why this really matters is if you have a bottleneck in your operations, do you really want to wait six months for a SaaS solution, assuming that you can even find one that fits your particular needs? So I mean, with AI agents, you can build a custom fix right now, test it and iterate super quick. Number three, we have the total customization and competitive advantage. So SaaS apps, they're designed for the masses and the same code base sold to thousands of companies. An agent, on the other hand, it just gets deeply woven into your existing processes. So CRM systems and internal databases, marketing tools, you name it. Because every company has its unique workflows, these agents become a proprietary asset, essentially, you know, just a custom system that nobody else has. And the result of this is that not only do you gain operational efficiency, but you also preserve a competitive advantage. And that's something that you just can't buy off the shelf. Now, this takes us naturally to my next point, which is the bottom up approach that we take for tailored AI agents within my AI development company. So here's kind of the most practical way that we go about it. And this is something that SaaS cannot replicate. And we call this our four phase framework. The first phase involves discovery and needs assessment. This is where we're going to identify bottlenecks and the roles. We start off with 
an executive or maybe stakeholder kickoff where we will sit down with your key decision makers in department heads for 60, 90 minutes, whatever really fits to highlight your top three to five bottlenecks in relevant SOPs and existing software or data systems. And we also have a team exploratory meeting if that's necessary. So, I mean, if our clients want to go into further detail or if we see a need for it, then we just do short calls with managers and staff to understand the day-to-day -day workflows. And the deliverable that you get from this is a high level process map showing the roles and the responsibilities and what's costing you time or money and actionable steps on how we can go about it. And a lot of the times when we implement something like this and go about this process for our clients, you know, it doesn't matter if they choose us or not. They have this information and we're just providing value to them. So we don't even have to implement the AI agents for them. We're still providing value whether or not they choose to work with us to implement the agents. For phase two, we have the analysis. And in this, we analyze each identified workflow and estimate the hours and costs tied to them. So we will pinpoint the areas with the highest ROI, you know, the highest return potential where automation or these systems can just save the most amount of time or generate revenue. The deliverable from this is just a short list of the recommended first wins, if you will. You know, we call this a one-off project uh, ad hoc. We don't have a fantastic name for it, but you get the idea. For phase three, we have the solution design. So we propose the possible agents or the possible systems, the automated workflows, whatever. So we sort this by the return or the ROI and its implementation complexity. You know, one system of many, if this is generating the highest return, and if also it's the easiest to implement, then it's a no brainer for us to start there. So that really just means that we are determining which one's going to be high impact, easy to execute first. The deliverable from this, obviously it's just proposed architecture, you know, plus they're getting a cost to benefit estimate, the timeline, resource plan, and so on. Then phase four, we have the implementation proposal. So we just compile all these findings into an implementation roadmap with recommended next steps. So the deliverable here is just a concise slide deck or document showing the findings, like the key inefficiencies and hours wasted, the recommended agents or systems that we just ultimately recommend. So whether it's one and two systems, whatever. So we're just determining which ones to kind of go with and also the phased roadmaps. So future enhancements, expansions from there, and also retainer based support, which is also a huge part of our offering and our model. You know, if we're going to be providing as much value to these companies, taking a bottom up approach, but this is ultimately the structured approach that ensures we're not just building any AI agent, you know, just one off solutions, but rather the right agent for your biggest needs and maximizing your returns while minimizing the learning curve. So now that we've kind of laid out the framework, I want to show you it in action. You know, this is more of a general success story, but Klarna, it's so huge and love just showcasing this case study of theirs. They use AI to personalize shopping feeds in real time. So typical SaaS solutions, they might just handle bits and pieces of that, you know, parts of it. But Klarna's AI, it's so deeply integrated that it adapts to user data on the fly and making decisions. And this is something, of course, a standard subscription tool cannot replicate. Then I'm going to kind of segue into what our company has done, you know, just to name a couple of different things, social media repurposing. So this is just an example of one of the systems that we've built out. So we built a custom agent for a client that turns one piece of content, like a webinar, into multiple LinkedIn posts, blog articles, and email newsletters. And the client from here was able to produce hundreds of hours of repetitive content creation and cancel multiple paid SaaS subscriptions that they currently were incurring. Then we have research and reporting agents. So another client of ours, they needed continuous updates on competitor pricing and product launches. So instead of you know paying for external market research or forcing employees to comb through data, having to bring on an intern, we deployed an AI agent that scours the web, compiles these insights and delivers daily and weekly reports. So the outcome is that they reinvested that the saved hours into high level strategy and they no longer relied on just multiple analytic uh, SaaS tools that really just costed them thousands in monthly costs. So I mean, each of these use cases, it highlights the same theme, if you couldn't tell, custom AI solutions that deliver exactly what the company needs far beyond just the scope of one size fits all applications. And you know, there's a handful of other systems and agents that we've built out for other clients. You know, I really wanted to be clear, SaaS isn't just going to vanish tomorrow, but the signs are everywhere really. So from small businesses to tech giants, the real breakthroughs are happening in agentic AI. Even Microsoft CEO Sachin Adela, he compares the AI transformation to the advent of personal computing or the internet. Major disruptions that leave old models behind if they don't evolve. So I mean, from here, what does the future really look like? Well, I believe it's a workforce of AI agents. So picture your standard org chart, C-level down to managers and staff and now AI agents that handle mundane tasks and analyze real-time data 
data and communicate with employees. You know, all these positions are really fitted for AI agents to be handling a majority of the tasks. I also see a reduced reliance on off the shelf software. So as I've just kind of been preaching in this entire video, instead of paying for 15 different SaaS subscriptions, you might only need a handful or maybe none because one AI agent can tackle the combined tasks of these multiple applications. I also believe the hyper personalized customer experiences is going to be much more widely seen. So AI that knows your customer data well, or as well as an employee, and it's going to deliver customized solutions or marketing in just seconds. And lastly, continuous improvement. So every feedback loop with an AI agent, it leads to better outcomes. It leads to better outcomes over time. So there's no need to wait for a SaaS vendor for incremental updates or maybe providing you with a GraphQL, whatever it may be. Now, overall, why we emphasize a tailored approach when it comes to working with companies, whoever it may be, I mean, it naturally asks the question, how do we get to where we want to be? So that's really where we start working with a team that understands both your high level goals and day to day operations. It's critical to put it simply. So, I mean, we've learned over countless projects that no two businesses are alike. You know, we'll find similarities, but that's about it. I mean, a cookie cutter SaaS product might handle 70% of your needs, but it's the remaining 30% that can hold you back excellence. So AI agents, they can bridge that gap by working exactly the way that you want them to. And this is really where we come in is we build not off the shelf solution for our companies. So we build bespoke, we build custom things. Now, if there's anything that you're going to get from this video, it's that AI agents, they're of course, not just a new tool. They are a paradigm shift in how work gets done and how it will get done. They learn, they adapt, which means that they can scale with your business in ways that SaaS can't. Deploying them doesn't have to be complicated. So if you start with a clear roadmap that pinpoints your highest impact areas first, you know, if you employ a similar approach, a similar model that I do with my clients that I briefly went over, then you'll be golden. But with that being said, if you are ready to explore how AI agents could transform your workflows, your business, your operations entirely. So from content creations to research to advanced reports, we would love to chat. Our team has developed a bottom up approach to identify these bottlenecks as I've covered and design these custom AI solutions and implement them in phases so that you see tangible returns as quickly as possible. If you are interested in something like that, you know, to drive revenue and create operational leverage in your business, then you can check out the link down below in the description to apply to work with us. But yeah, with that being said, I just wanted to kind of share my two cents on this and where, you know, I see the future of agents, AI, however you kind of cut it up. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. As always, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.